ni mtangazaji wa mojawapo ya stationi zinazoongea kikikuyu hapa Kenya mm-hmm. alafu vile vile pia ni music executive wanaita hivyo kile moto ambao unafanya kazi na wasanii oh. eh yeah, music executive basi mikoso yeye iko share unajua uko yeye show ah miko yeye show clemo msanii wangu anakuja sijaijua Agnes Nonsizi mambo. Salama salama. Karibu sana. Karibu jamani. Agnes karibu sana. Sijaijua kama iko ndo show chako. Lakini Agnes umetusumbua na wasanii. Hata nimegundua leo kumbe huwa nimekusave Agnes Dela. Unajua Dela ndo alikuja aka alianza Oh yes yes kweli. Mambo vipi? Salama. How does it feel kama muda wote all these years we've done this show wewe unakujaga unanyamaza pale kwa kona? Nakaa. Yeah. Unaleta wasanii hapo. Leo wewe ndio uko hapa tunakuoje? Imenifunza discipline. Hivi <laughs> <laughs> umefanya ngoja wakati wako. Amen. Mm, I like patience. that. Umefanya kazi na wasanii kwa muda gani? Eh kutoka 20 Okay, nimekuwa kwa music business uh-huh. since 2011. Uh-huh. Kwa hivyo hiyo ni miaka mingapi? Um, Up until now those are 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. Na yeah. kazi yako sawa ni gani? Ba sasa kuwa publicist uh-huh. vizuri mm. ni kutoka 2006 wakati tu establish terazo. Mm-hmm. Ba sasa wakati nilikuwa na deal na Dela nilifanya kila kitu. Nilimanage, mm. nilifanya publicist, mm. social media mm. kule Tora. So experience imekuja hivi. Sasa mpaka nikajiita executive sababu mm. naweza fanya kila kitu. Mm. Naweza kuambia eh hey, brand yako iko hivi na hivi kama msani naweza mm. manage naweza mm. fanya publicist mm. kila kitu mm. ndio good to see you good to see you karibu sana <laughs> asante <laughs> mimi binafsi yangu unajua nina furaha mm. eh yeah. maraki mara ya kwanza na ulikuja kwa niambia when you started bring artists to me mm. that's when you reminded me where i first saw you mm-hmm. eh ulikuwa yes. <laughs> unafanya kazi kwa J Blessing ndio ndio ulikuwa unafanya kazi pale kama reception yes. that was when that was my first job you ulikuwa 20 2012. Mm. 2011 kuja kuisha 2012. Mm-hmm. Sababu kazi yangu ya kwanza after kutoka kule Techn Sasa hizo wanaita Technical University of Kenya. Kenya pole. Okay, Kenya pole kweli. Eh unajua. So mm. after that kenda kafanya shule ya journalism kidogo. Mm. After that nikaenda sasa kwa J Blessing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. E, kufanya mambo kwa kupokea wageni oh, e, kus, e, kufanya kama equipment zimetoka zimerudi mm. stick talking mm. stock taking kila mm. kitu mm. alafu sasa hapo ndio tulipatana mm. kaka kidogo mm. then kenda kule ugopa DJs mm. pia kazi hiyo mm. book studio time mm. kuona shoots zinafanywaje mm. recording lucas yafanyaje how music business inafanyika hapo so, namejifunza biashara muziki I, actually kutoka kule kwa Gopa DJs nilijifunza vitu vingi sana sio tu ati kuwa kwa reception mm. music video inafanywaje kupanga set kutafuta location eh, kama ni audio kubuku msania anakuja mara anafanya take two pia kuitisha hela hey, oh. oh. mm. <laughs> Agnes hasla kwa hivyo ni hasla kwa serikali ya bua ni pia kazi <laughs> Maana kivi tunapozungumza unapatikana kwenye ni Kameme TV. Eh hey, Kameme TV asubuhi. Doke mare rie. Mwerore ni oh huko ni mudhikireria. Mudhikireria huko naitwa msikilizaji. Dodie. Eh nionge na kiko yako. Enda ongea. Mudhikireria wa Radio Maisha na onyitanile na ni Roshine shi hadadhi na shara ginyare shi hadadha nya thenye wa Kameme TV. Mimi nimsikia nimsikia juzi akiwa na anafanya ana, mahojiano YouTube yake anajiuliza oh anakijua tena hivi anakijua chote kabisa kwa sababu hakikati mwenyewe yoke tili mtoto hadi akai akai kujua kikuyu eh. my friend unga nerobi eh. shamba la mawe lazima utafute pesa kwa sababu tungependa kujua Agnes mm. ma uh, umetokea wapi when mm-hmm. we come back mm. watu wamesikia wa, mtu akisikia jina lako kwa mara ya kwanza mm-hmm. anapata kujiuliza mm. hey, no sisi atakao hapa pande ya Kenya mm-hmm. nenda majina yako kamili E Agnes Nonsizi nye the jina la babangu na mm. pia of course kuna sasa lavona tutaongeza wakati Tuko naye mgeni in the studio Agnes Nonsizi. Yes. E, ambaye ni mtangazaji mm-hmm. uh, wa TV na vile vile pia yuko pale kwenye biashara ya mziki. So Agnes mm-hmm. araka haraka haraka mm-hmm. umezaliwa wapi umelelewa wapi? Kiambu County kuzaliwa mm-hmm. kusomea Kiambu County mm-hmm. kulelewa. Mm-hmm. So Kiambu ni maeneo Ms. Jazz. Jazz. What? Wana mshana Kiambu eh. Hey. Tueleza masomo wapi pale Kiambu? Sawa, so, pale primary school. Mm. Nilikuwa mm. shule inaitwa Akimsicheke tafadhali. Na waoma mwenye atacheka tatemea nje ile mlango. Ipo la 
lakini bado paka sasa hivi. Uh, ipo by the way, unakitianga hapo ndio ulikuwa kwa issue ile Wangunyo Primary School. Wangunyo. Tafadhali, eh Wangunyo. Kwa kwanza maisha nini Wangunyo? Eh. Ina maisha nini? Oh Wangunyo is kupinch. It's like pinch. Kwa Wangunyo. Eh Wangunyo. Oh my god. And then they kind of cool and read the girls. Um iko Ndeya in the heart of Ndeya, Kiambu County, Limuru. Kasomea huko from form 1 to form 4. Yeah. Alafu ndiye kenda sasa Technical University of Kenya. Wakati uko huko unakuwa mwenyewe ni msichana mdogo, msichana mwenye una ndoto zako. Ipi ulikuwa unachamani kwa nini? In fact, me the first time nilisikia watangazaji wa radio, I really was intrigued kuwa kwa radio. Sababu wao wakati funny enough as much as nearly grew up on my great grandma Mother, not my grandmother my great grandmother oh mm, eh, mwenyameza mama ya baba the, okay. South, the real south african oh yes you, you grew up with her mm. so hapo uh, kiambu tu hapo tu kiambu alikuwa amekuja in the 1930s oh. all the way from south africa mm-hmm. akakuja huko akaolewa kaishi mm. akajifunza kikuyu akajua so we listening to a lot of kikuyu radio mm. vernacular huko wakati kina kameme fm walikuwa wameshika mm. so watu ambao walikuwa natangaza ni gadhoni wa mushoba mm. pm squared so nili get interest kujua oh, hawa sijana wako nyuma ya hiyo radio inaongea mm. wanafanya so that was the first interest mm. um, Singe dhani pia unajua ukiingia high school kuna pressure ya kuwa lawyer kuwa sijui daktari au mm-hmm. kuwa nani mimi nikajiambia nataka kuwa lawyer mm-hmm. mimi unaniona miaka sita shule uongo uongo so ah na ndikavinya maza form 4 my mom like unaongeanga sana msichana mm. wacha tu agree tu unaongea oh. my mama anataka ulianza kuongea tu kwa kwa yangu hey, akasema sasa <laughs> wewe na kutuma kula uende ufanye usome utangazaji ndio yes ndio ma- mama kwa hivyo ndio ameona kipaji chako in fact mama ndiye aliona oh. mimi nimekuona uko na then anataka kimelemele hiki melemele yako mm. ipeleke tu shule mm. so that you get trained all right mm. so ndo atakuja tueleze sasa mm. mama alivona sasa hizi sasa ni mtangazaji ni mtangazaji mm. anakuwaga pale goje kameme tv asubuhi asubuhi jamani edwin gonzalo at shall short hair yeah. she's already giving me sleepless nights aya acha na u tayari ile nasikia hao ndo wako fashion sasa ndo konio ni kweli sisi tunakula nyinyi ndio uko sisi ndio tuko inabidi pale ndio mama ikabeba ikabeba makoti na nyoya akasemaje amehanyoa eh even though manipulate watu ndo wasimstume pesa ya saloon but unajua hii nywele unaweza jikuta ni expensive kuliko zama hizo zimesukwa wacha 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 products nini cut maintain so Agnes don't see him mtangazaji wewe wa TV na vile vile pia UNB music business now let's start tuko tumefika upande kwamba mzazi akasema kwamba lazima uende sasa kwenye college pale ukasomea hii maneno ya utangazaji tueleze kuliendaje na ulienda wapi Mm, Technical University of Kenya uh-huh. uko ndo nilisomea uh, journalism and public relations uh-huh. ile kazi ya PR. Uh-huh. After that ni kwanza kuchapa life Nairobi kutafuta kazi. Uh-huh. Kazi ya kutafuta kazi. Uh-huh. Mimi naona tu watu wa kizazi hiki wakisema oh mara kuna sisi we we have paid dues. Tume we pay for it. Tumefanya kazi. Uh-huh. Na kabla um, ni Eh, unajua shule kuna kuanga ni long holiday sijui mbona wanatupanga tu kufunga kwa muda mrefu mm. especially kama wanafanya ile regular uh-huh. so mimi kule nilikuwa nafanya kazi zingine because at that time nakumbuka babangu alikuwa ameaga ndo niende form 4 so wakati wote mama yuko stable vile kwa hivyo unajitosa unatafuta kazi hiyo long holiday nilikuwa nakumbuka na uza bakery Mm. kule nakumat kulikuwa na bakery mm. wakumbuka nakumat nyinyi ni watu mmekuta nakumat mm. mm. yeah. eh umeipata uh-huh. ndani kulikuwa na bakery kuitwa Ens Valley sasa hivi kuna kampuni ya mkate inaitwa Ens Valley walikuwa walikuwa na bakery kule ndani ya nakumat mm-hmm. so mimi huko nilikuwa nauza mikate nini ku promote keki wakati wa christmas mm. na unafanya marketing ama unauzaje unauza ile wanaitwa nini sales girl oh. kwa supermarket unatumwa unaambia mm. mtu huu mkate unalipa hivi unatrainiwa oh. Kwanza hmm. Christmas kuna wengine walikuwa na wa, wa Germans wazungu walikuwa napenda sana. Ah, they love bread. Germans love they bread. Do. Kwanza ilikuwa inaitwa wewe tulikuwa mpaka tumetrainiwa. Yeah. Sivi mazi punch tolen kwa sababu hey, lazima ujue. Oh really? Even pronouncing it the you yes. know ki German. No, umwambie iko na nini, iko na nini. Ingredients zile. Ndio. All right. So hiyo mm. hivyo kidogo kidogo then kumaliza. Mm-hmm nikapata kazi kule journalism school kuna shule ilikuwa inaitwa Magenta hapa tu Nairobi mm. ya journalism nilikuwa receptionist mimi sijui mbona kazi za receptionist tu zinaita tu kuja ina maana kwamba you are very receptive eh kuja here i come 
After hapo nakumbuka nilikuwa nasumbua kila mtu. Mm. Nikimwambia ukiwa na kazi kule media house, ukisikia kazi niambie mm. I, I can do anything. Uh, so oh, ndoto ilika kabla mm. ifikie. Mm. Ilika. Mm. After that kenda kwa blessing, kenda ugopa DJs, kenda Taurus kule. Mm. Hi, that was baptism by fire sister. Ah, kwa sababu ulifanya ka, ulipata fursa sasa kufanya kazi na wasanii. Wasanii sasa. Mm. Wakumbuka ndio wakati Dela, we were rebranding Dela from mm. now uh, Kumba RNB ZVV to a pop artist. So mm. I think hiyo ndio ilikuwa project yangu ya kwanza. Mm. Tukam rebrand ile kufanya kazi na anaitwa oh, jo ana shoot video kutoka um, Nigeria all, all, all those people. I want to I want to kwa sababu mimi ni sasa ukiletea be Edela mm. ndio nikumusha how we met. Mm. I want you to tell us ulimconvinceaje Edela kufanya kazi naye mm. um, um, uh, kupande, upande wa branding, ku na vitu kama vile. So nakumbuka it was under a label ilikuwa ni Taurus Music. So mm. ilikuwa na the head of the label mwenyewe eh naweza sema he's Nigerian. Aika. Eh mm. Aike. Aike mm. chukua noke. Mm. So nil, yende nilipeleka huko nika I was under him. So yende ilikuwa na tafuta kazi ya ku scout wasanii tutafanya hivi na vile. Mm. But pia kitu ambacho nimelearn kutoka kufanya kazi na uh, you know Nigerians because wakati huo nilinteract na wanajeri wengi sana. Mm. They don't settle for less. Na ukiwaona hivi utajua kwa nini they are doing why they are doing what. Mdejere kikwambia nataka shati ya black. Mm. Usilete kitu inakaa kama black. Mm-mm. Nataka black. Mm. Nikisema nataka um siju mbona na sao Paul, anaitwa naji ujamaa wa kushoot. Na nakuja kwa kile. Anasema nataka kuwa kwa set at this time. Atakuwa. Mm. So they are very specific and they go hard. Na kumbuka nikwambia ni baptism by fire ni baptism by fire. Mm. Dela mimi rebrand anafaa kuwa kwa mid na atina pigia mwendea shiki simu nilikuwa na mtafuta kwa nyumba na nataka uhakikisha ya kwamba kwa maana ulikuwa unanisumbua chamani si kupenda wewe ni boss wewe oh yes uh-huh. no for an, no is not an answer uh-huh. najeria anasema pale boss yeah lazima so hiyo wakati nilikuwa sasa officially nikajua i'm, I'm very good kwa publicist mm. Sababu ni zile vitu zingine nilikuwa nafanya mm. lakini sasa ku deal na ku you know ku follow up sababu kazi ya publicist si rahisi. It's very difficult. Utume press release, uhakikishe imefika kama ni articles ziandikwe kwa gazeti, after that ufuatane na muendee ufuatane na ule mwingine station nyingine nyingine upange diary yake, upange msanii, mufike mapema, msanii amerudi kwa siku tu, na kwa nimechapa kazi Nairobi. Mm. Nimechapa kazi. Umezunguka. Nimezunguka. Hakuna eh acha nikwambie. Hizi station zote hakuna mm. mali sijui choi iko wapi. <laughs> <laughs> ni mkoko usiku wakati mwingine mkoko you know kama hapa unajua kuna radio maisha kuna maybe KTN nimekuja huku Friday asubuhi labda narudi uko usiku let me ask you uh, uh, now that you, you did all this uh, ukaja kufanya kazi of course na Kinotile akina Guardian Angel mm. sasa pale now as Terrazzo eh hey, Terrazzo na mboni kampuni yako eh, na mme wako mm. so let me nataka uniele utueleze umuhimu wa branding kwa msanii yeah. unakuwa ni upi ndio mm. um Brand unajua sasa hivi ni very important. Na sio sasa hivi imekuwa ni venye atakuwa tunajua wasa nini branding wanafanya. Oh yes. Ukiangalia Michael Jackson kuna vile alikuwa anafanana. Mm. Unaona uki, unajua kuna style yake na kila kitu. Mm. One na kupianga identity wewe kama msanii. Mm. Number two, vile ambavyo utaji brand ndio itadetermine watu ambao uta attract. Unaona? Absolutely. Vile tunasema tu shilingi na muliko ningi. Leo ukae a certain way ndio pesa fulani ama watu fulani waje kuja kwa kwa sababu ni vile bio yako itaandikwa mm. vile social media zako itakuwa ili ya picha ambayo unapigwa yale mavazi ambayo unavalia mm. unaona hata watu so, some people na, unaenda mpaka tu election ile nywele hairstyle ambayo utaweka inafaa ukiingia pale mm. na ulikuwa unaona yes, utajua yes. msanii ni nani publicist ni nani mm. bila hata ku, kusema mm. so ukikosea tu hivi mm. nivo umetupa watu sasa hiyo ndio kazi yenu Yes, hiyo ndio kazi yetu. Hata sasa hivi. Hata mm. sasa hivi oh. najua lakini sasa hivi imekuwa pia wasanii wa ngumu. Lazima uwaki na mtu ambaye atasikiza sababu msanii anakuja lakini yuataka kujifanyia. Mm. Yeye ndo anajua sasa. Unajua sasa. Basi sufanye. Fanye basi. <laughs> La, uh, Tukibaki hapo hapo unasema wasanii wa ngumu. Kwa sababu ndio ilikuwa inafanyika globally, mm. you know branding artists, you know uh, and all that. Uh, Upper Kenya do you think we've gotten it yet yes. not, and not just wasani because mm. even us as media yeah, personalities dio. Dio. now we've gotten to a point where we it, 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 we, we are have, forced yeah. we are forced mm. ku, kufanya hivyo vitu dio. unafikiri kwamba the public figures this media personalities this was we may get kuna wale ambao mm. wamepata mm. si sema ti tu we, tuko nyuma mm. tu we are somewhere to me we've made steps mm. lakini pia tuko na safari ndefu sana ya kwenda ikifika mm. 
ni showbiz kwa hii business yeah. especially when you ambao wako kwa showbiz kuna wale ambao ni kazi kama mm. mimi na wewe hiyo ni kazi mm. lakini kwa wasanii hiyo la, kitu it's a part of biashara hiyo mm. showbiz bado hatujaipata vizuri tembea South Africa tembea Tanzania mm. my friend utajua mm. Uki, kwa sababu huko una kasirika hizi ni functions unaambia mm. watu vaa hivi watu unatokea sijua wanafanana naje <laughs> mimi ni shida na movie <laughs> 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 ni kwa sababu gani unafikiri ni kwa sababu ya kutolewa ama ni kwa sababu ipi kutotaka ku invest kuna kitu ambao yuko ni waga ni gharama yenu nyinyi ama ni ya msanii italingana kama uko kwa label hiyo ni gharama ya label na kutalingana na vile mmeagree na label na pia label za ambazo ziko huku pia zi understand kuwa kwa label ni kumaanisha nini mm. usipewe wasanii rodi hivi hivi ukiwaambia ni ni label hapana mm. mm. na pia kama we ni msanii ki, ki individual mm. we uko, uko peke yako you mm. are invest sababu lazima uweke hela ndio hela ikuje so look a certain way pia unajua squeeze branding goes ata kuji present venye unaingia hapa venye unasalimia mwende venye unasalimia klemo ita determine sana vile mtaenda Kuna... kama utarudi kama ita vina katisho katikati Nimeona wasanii tumeenda mahali ambapo kuna watu ambao ni affluent wale wale wanaitwa affluent mm-hmm. eh? the who's of the who's the who's eh? na saba wao wanaweza kuwa wakujui sababu to be honest mwendesi hizi asiyo mnikiingia mahali kila mtu ananijua i agree so tumeenda to an extent of comedia train ukiingia mm-hmm. mahali tafadhali salimia watu mimi naitwa mwende mashari introduce yourself you must G- introduce si unadhani sababu wewe tunakwenda kila siku unaona yuko mimi watu wanaonanga tv mm-hmm. waelewa so hizo vitu basic lazima mm-hmm. zikue na pia kuji express kwa media. So hizo ni vitu um, brand ya msanii ni 360. Mm. Ni vile unaka, ni vile unaka kwa social media, ni vile unajipresent hivyo. We, hiyo elimu sijui kama ni wote wanao. Lakini ulifanya at least you have somebody to be proud mm. uh, to be proud about. Mm. Let's talk about Otile Brown. Mm. Kwa sababu ni msanii ambaye amepita kwenye mikono yako. Ndiyo. Was he your first uh, ni nyo signee? kipindi hicho ama alikuwa mshafanya kazi na wengine tulikuwa tunafanya kazi au tulipofungua terazo hivi yeah. the band becker ndo walikuja ah the band becker ndo walikuja, walikuja mm. tukafanya kazi Nairobi kama wali, watu walikuja kwetu katasi of DJ Pinye mm. tukabaki mpaka wameenda kule studio new mm. artist um, wa, wa hiyo time Otila akakuja ule wakati alikuwa na changamoto YouTube channel imefungwa eh, eh. oh vitu mingi mingi tukafanya mm. pia rebranding mm. tukafanya branding order pia tu kafika mahali tukashindwa kufanya kazi lakini akaenda njia yake M- mlishindwa pia kufanya ni, kama hivyo nimesema um, wasanii si watu rais kufanya kazi mm. nao na lazima visions lazima zi, zi, ziingiane mm. kama wewe unataka kwenda US na mm. nata, lazima tukue kwa safari moja sure. na pia ni vizuri watu wakishindwa kufanya kazi msiharibiane jina huku nje sasa hivi tunakutana tunazungumza safari yake alichukua akaendelea kwingine sisi tukaendelea na safari. Una, unaonaje vile ambavyo amefanikiwa ni, ni msanii mkubwa sasa hivi yes. uh, mm. hapa Kenya vile vile East Africa mm. and uh, anafanya vizuri tu. Uh, how do you feel ukimwona vile? Very proud. Yeah. Hata sasa hivi tukipatana na yeye mm. atanisalimia tutaongea vizuri sababu ni the, the bottom line is si competition tu ajengana. Mm. Unaona tunafaa kukomplimentiana kwa industry. Napo ndio watu wanapata they get it wrong. Mm. sababu mtu anapopitia kwa mikono yako alafu atoke hapo kama alichukua kitu kutoka kwako aki implement aende afanye vizuri we are happy yeah. watu mlae nikimuona kitembea na gari lake nzuri kubwa kubwa nikijua kona deals pesa inaingia toki wasanii ambao wako ana hela jamani <laughs> watu waendele agnesi <laughs> Agnesi mm-hmm. so now you are you work in a, a TV station hebu yes. tueleze jinsi ambavyo ulipata kazi pale kama mimi asubuhi sa so, uh, asubuhi um mimi kama mimi nienda 2017 mm-hmm. so my first ever media job yes nilitiwa show ya reggae mm. i was doing a reggae show mm. this is after working now with artists eh, ni nini nini hivyo tumeanza terazo but still ile ile dream inakuita mm. ile inakuita tu So nikaenda nika audition na kwa mimi tuli audition tukaka one year kama tujawaitwa. So, Wacha. Eh, kungoja. Wacha. Wakati tuliitwa mm. eh shows ikapatia. Na kwanza madam unaweza fanya nini? Kulikuwa na shows mbili. Kuna zilizopendwa na reggae. Mm. Ai nikaona zilizopendwa si zani. Mm. Reggae tukapeperusha 2017. Very nice. So it's mm. my first time. Mm. 
Then after that nikapochiwa nikaenda station nyingine hapo ilikuwa ina inachipuka Mungu wangu mm. tukatendwa ile kitu no salaries nini mm. depression ikaingia mm. after that nikaenda pia nikaajiriwa mahali kwingine pia tarazo inaendelea wakati sababu business music business kwa inchi si stable vile yeah. unaweza lala njasi wadanganyi mm. msanii akiwa na pesa yako mm. so ni vizuri kuwa na kazi nyingine umeona unafanya mm-hmm. so wakati um, ndio ninge kwa breakfast the lady mwenye alikuwa na host eh, alikuwa anaenda maternity leave so mimi nilikuwa reliever mm. so nikaenda nikafanya kutoka last year around june kafanya for july august september four months hivi akarudi then wakati aliporudi i think sababu waka realize biashara pia amepata amebarikiwa biashara zake zimekuwa sawa ya ka resign so after that nikarudi sasa officially okay. ndio all right experience kwa kufanya kwenye vanilla station Ura. Um, <laughs> it's interesting so uh, one watu wanadhani ujui lugha nyingine mm. so, <laughs> <laughs> lakini ni, ni lugha ambayo nime ni lugha ya mama mm. well ni lugha ambayo nililearn sababu pia lugha ni nyingi kwa sikia niko na nonsizi kwa hivyo niko na South Africa mm. kwa hivyo ni lugha ambayo najua mm. pia ni tofauti sababu lazima usome vitu na kizungu utranslate na kikuyu so mm. kuna ile ukufikiria unafikiria na kikuyu <laughs> na pia unafikiria shosho nyumbani <laughs> tell is vitu na kizungu so kila neno ukiweza upate jina la kikuyu okay ndio uh, so, but so far you love it I, sina shida i mm. love it totally you, you recently launched a youtube channel mm. nilitarajia labda utafanya labda ya kizungu mm. pia nikisapele pia eh. ya kizungu kwa nini unaamua kikuyu sababu pia niko na hiyo audience sasa hivi mm. eh, that's what i'm doing said this fanya na kizungu but hiyo itakuja but mm. sasa hivi kuna vitu ambazo nataka kufanya na kikuyu na pia hiyo quality wa kikuyu tu, tu, ni wengi tuko wengi mm. ndio ni inchi niko na kikuyu aliniita kumwambia mm. <laughs> labda kiongeza kikuyu na jimu kiswahili ukijui okay, kwa nini nasikia sijui kuongea oh. eh, kusikia nasikia kila kitu hawa ni wale niji <laughs> waga no diaragia 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 ne te waga kera kedo Tell people wakufollow kwenye YouTube channel. Inaitwa Gay Carol na Nonsizi wange the meaning is just a sit down na mimi so kuta mambo mengi tuta discuss pale. Mm. So discuss maneno ya mental health, mm. discuss maneno ya finance, nitakuletea oh, majina tajika tajika kwa wakikuyu ambao wamefanya steps hapa na pale. Kwa hivyo tutajifunza mambo mengi na pia mimi in the process na land. Kwa hivyo pale YouTube mm. kama unasikia kikuyu Gay Carol na Nonsizi wange the. Okay. Mm. Wa, waende usai wa follow. Wa follow na kwa mitandao ya kijamii je? Uh, Nonsizi Agnes kila mahali non sizi ni n o n s i z i then agnes non sizi kule instagram mm-hmm. kule facebook page iko kuna mm-hmm. website pia kuna yes. twitter pia kuna linkedin pia kuna tiktok my god <laughs> <laughs> is, is, it, is it overwhelming being a working lady and a mwanadada ambaye pia ana family kwa sababu wewe una mume mm. una mtoto mm. is how is it it's, it's overwhelming mm. kudanganya mm. leo asubuhi nilikuwa najiambia if you want more you have to do more I agree. Kama unataka zaidi lazima ufanye zaidi. Kwa hivyo ule uchovu pia utakuwa zaidi. Wakati mwingine utashangaa lakini pia ni vizuri unapata usaidizi. Mm, Kule nyumbani una delegate, ask for help. Wewe si superwoman. Delegate kama ni bwana kama anaweza aenda shule. Kasi sababu mimi sasa nikaenda kutoa mtano wa shule nitaenda saa mbili saa ngapi? Niko mm. kule na peperusha maneno kwa hewa. Mm. So pia kupata partner ambaye atakushikilia na atashikilia ndoto yako. Na si don't asi uwe dream yako ni vizuri sana. Mm. Ni vizuri ku right. Not just marry into man ni mko pamoja kwa hiyo vision pesa huwa inakuja inaisha inakuja inaisha inakuja mm. but mtu ambaye amepata vision yako mm. na atakuwa empower ukue that person bila yeye kuwa threatened is very important I'm very proud of you, Thank you. and I wish you all the very best Asante. I look forward to seeing you in greater heights Asante Ah tuko mbele pamoja